Here at the Global Cycling Network, we've been fortunate enough to be able to use cask helmets over the last couple of years, and they've kindly invited us over to Italy to look through the process of making that helmet. We're going to go through it right from the start to the finish, and apparently, I'm also going to be involved myself in making one. Um, nah. <laughs> anyway, it all starts, apparently, with this. So, let's see what the process is. The first part of the process is to apply paint to what will become later the shell of the helmet. Each colour is applied five times before being put into an oven for one hour at 120 degrees. Now this drying process is an important one, if there's any moisture left it can ruin the shell. The shell itself is actually made from three separate parts, with different moulds for the base, back and sides and top of the helmet. Each part will then have to clear quality control before heading off to the laser machine which cuts the trim of the helmet as well as the all important vents. So that's the helmet shell but the main part of the helmet still has to be made and that is actually done in a completely different place which is where we are now. And the main body actually starts off life like this very, very small polymeric beads is what they're called. They're left to rest for around eight to ten days before being fed up here through tubes, which as you can see are numbered, and that then goes through to the various parts and various machines around the factory where it'll be moulded into the different types of helmets. From the machine that's over there, as they go through all of the tubes, eventually it comes down here to the machine behind me. Now, you'll remember from earlier in the video, these parts that are made in the other parts of the factory, this is exactly parts for the Protoni rather than the Mojito, which we were looking at earlier. But they'll use these bits here. They'll also take little inserts for the helmet straps, etc. put them all into the machine behind me. And then as all of the polystyrene balls are fed into it, it's baked for around about six minutes. And then out the other end, comes this, which of course looks much more like a helmet. After that, the bottom part of the helmet is stuck on and then the helmet is brought here into a dehumidifier and it's actually 40 degrees in here. I'm sweating quite a lot and in that time, the helmet will lose six grams of water before it's then taken to another place again. So then this, the main, the most important shell part of the helmet comes here to a separate part of CAS HQ here in Italy and this is where the pads, the retention system at the back and the straps are finally put into place and then it's all boxed up, ready to go to dealers. I'm actually going to give this a little bit of a go myself, don't laugh. Right. That looked a lot harder than... Uh... It would be really embarrassing if it now comes out when I pull it. Almost finished now. And everything has been more difficult to do than it looked before. Especially the bit where you had to use a bit of strength. Right, so almost done. Just time for this very important bit of making sure Si and Matt don't get their hands on this. And there we go, cask helmet is made. Now, thanks very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more video videos along the same lines, you can click up there and find out exactly how Physique make their saddles. And if you click just down there, you can also see how Colnago make their frames. And make sure you subscribe to GCN, it's absolutely free. And all you need to do is, well, just click on here. I'm almost shaking with nerves here. Um, nah. um, nah. Right, so once all of the helmet is kind of assembled and the bottom part is put on, etc. So see you later. Ciao.